Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. I'm sure you all are taking care of yourself and your family to fight against COVID-19. On request of many of my students, today I'm starting with a new series called Problem Solving Using Python. But before starting with the series, I'm assuming that you're aware of basic Python programming or else why don't you attend my Python programming series? It will give you basic knowledge about how to write Python program, input output statement, keywords, data types, operators, control structure, how to write a function and many other topics. So without wasting time, let's start solving one by one problems using Python. I'm sure after solving this problem, you will have good confidence on Python programming. This will sure help you in solving your college assignments as well as in technical aptitudes while facing job interviews. Let's start with the first problem. We'll start first with the very basic programs and then we'll gradually move on till object oriented coding, exception handling, file handling and many more problems. The first question is write a function named as foo. This function should display hello for foo on console and write a main program to test this function. Very basic, very elementary program. Many might think like what a easy question it is, but we are starting it from very elementary question and gradually will move on to complicated problems. Hope you'll enjoy it. Now this question is, we have to write a function foo in which we'll just use one print statement hello from foo and in a main program, we'll call this function to test whether it gives the desired output. Let's start writing solution for this problem. I have already started with PyCharm editor. If you're not aware about how to use PyCharm, I've created a separate video on how to install PyCharm and how to run Python program in PyCharm. Please view that. Please recommend it to your other friends too. Now I have already started PyCharm. I've created one project with the name Python assignment. I'll right click on it. I'll add one new Python file. I'll give name to it as Q1. That is for question one. Now it has created an empty Python source code file. Now our task was to define a function with the name foo. I hope if you are aware about Python coding, how to define a function, we have to use word def followed by name of the function. Now, as this is not receiving any argument, we are not passing anything, empty round bracket, then colon is mandatory. Now, what is the task of this function? Print hello from foo. That's all, the function definition is over. Then, I'm calling this function. Now when the script execute, it will call foo. Now foo will display on monitor hello from foo. Let's run this script. Is it displaying hello from foo? I hope you have understood this. Let's move on to the next question. Now the second question is, write a function named as check num, which accept one parameter as number. If number is even, then it should display even number. Otherwise, display odd number on console. 
write a program to test this function. As an example, if the input is 11, it should display odd number. If the input is 8, it is displaying even number. I hope you understood what is expected in this question. Now, whenever a number is divisible by 2, that is when you divide by 2 and the remainder is 0, it is even. Otherwise, it is odd. Let's immediately write solution for this without wasting time. I'll create one more source file. I'll right click on it. New Python source file. I'll give name to it as Q2. Now, the task was to define a function check num. To that, we are going to pass one number n. Now, I hope you are getting comfortable with the syntax of function definition. Then we'll use one conditional statement if n mod 2 equal to 0. Mod is an arithmetic operator, modulus operator. It returns remainder. And double equal to is a comparison operator. Colon, as it is a syntax of Python. I'll display even number else I'll display print odd number. Now the function definition is over. Let's test it in the main program. Now before calling the function, we'll accept one number from user. I hope you know how to accept value from user. Using input statement, enter number. Now you should know that input always returns string and that string we are passing to typecasting function int and that casted value I am storing in m. Now I am calling that function check num and to that I am passing the value m. I hope you have understood this. Let's execute this. Now it's executing the same Q1 from this drop down or from this run module. I have to say run. It is asking for which code to run. I'm clicking on Q2. Now, is it asking you for the input? Yes. Suppose I enter 11. Is it displaying odd number? Yes. Let's execute it one more time. Now I'm entering value 8. It is displaying even number. Hope you understood the solution for this problem. Quickly we'll move on to the next question because I want to make you solve maximum questions as much as possible. And if you guys are interested in solving more questions, please contact us. We'll provide you with the more assignments as much as possible. Our intention is to improve your programming logic. Let's continue with the next question. Now in this next question, write a function named as mult, which accepts two numbers from user and return multiplication of that two numbers. And then we have to write a main program to test this function. That is, we will call the function and before calling, we'll accept two values from user. As an example, if input entered is 11, 5, the output should be 55. Okay, let's start with the solution for this problem. It's a very elementary question in which we are using function and basic arithmetic operator. Don't worry guys, we will be moving gradually with basic questions till very pro exercises and you'll enjoy learning it. I am very sure about it. I'll create one more file. Till then, I'll create a next file with the name Q3. We'll create a Python file with the name Q3. Now the question is, define a function named mult 
to that will pass two parameters. Now the name of the parameters are x and y. The task of the function is to return multiplication of x and y. If you want, you can put a comment here, function to return multiplication of two numbers. Now we'll test this function. Now to test this function, before calling it, we will accept two numbers from user. I'm writing a comma b equal to int input enter number one comma int input enter number two this is example of multiple assignment okay now two values are accepted from the user now we will pass this two value to mult and we'll collect the answer in C. Now, if you have attended my Python programming series, in that one session is separately on types of parameters. So in this case, A and B are passed at the time of call. So they are actual parameters. And X and Y they are used in function definition. They are formal. Now the function is returning some value which I have collected in C that I'll display. I'll display like this. For example, I'm writing A, then multiplication sign, then B, then equal sign, and then C. Okay. Let's execute it. It is asking which file I've given Q3. I'll input some value. So it's 5 and 7. It is returning 5 into 7 is 35. Hope you have understood this very basic example. Let's move on to the next question. Question number four. First we'll read this. Write a program which displays n times learn with Ajit More on screen. Now if the input value is five, so it should display learn with Ajit More five times. This is also a very elementary question based on iterative statement or looping statement. We can use any of the for loop or while loop. Is the question clear? n we have to accept from the user and whatever is the value of n that many times you will display learn with Ajit More on screen. Come on immediately we will solve this question because we have to solve maximum questions as possible. I want to take you from the elementary questions till very pro questions. We'll create one more file. I'll give the name to that file as Q4. Python file. The name of the file is Q4. If you're not understanding any of the logic, you can please contact us. We will make you clear whatever the difficulties you are facing. Now the question is accept one n from user. So obviously I'll use input statement in that enter n. You know that input enters return string. We convert string to integer. I'll use a for loop for i in range and I'll give n. Now you should know the working of range. Range always returns one list. Always returns one list and that list is from 0 till n minus 1. 
So always remember in place of this range, you're going to get one list with the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then in the loop, for every iteration, one value will be fetched from this list and it will be copied in I. Okay. But only the thing is the list which is returned by range is immutable. That is, we cannot change it. Now, what we have to do it in the function body? Display learn with Ajit More. Now, this statement learn with Ajit More is going to repeat how many times? As many times the values are there in the list. And how many values are there in the list? Depends on n. Let's run this code. Run. We will select Q4. It's asking for the value. If I enter 5, is it displaying learn with Ajit More 5 times? I hope you're enjoying it. Is it? Yes. Let's continue with the next question. Next question is write a program which displays 1 to n on screen in reverse. Here also you can use range or if you want you can use a while loop also. It depends on you. Always remember in programming, one problem can have many different solutions. Which solution to select is up to you. But always select that solution which is best in time, which is best in space. Let's continue with the solution for question 5. So for example, if I have input value 10, it should display 10 to 1. Is it? Okay. Let's continue. I'll create one more file with the name Q5. Now the task of this function is, you know, it is supposed to display N in reverse. I'll accept one value from user input enter n now it's your choice you can use for loop you can also use while loop let's solve this using while loop i'll take one variable n a variable n and it is initialized with the value which is accepted from user now we can directly start decreasing that n. So we can write a while loop in this manner while n greater than equal to 1. So what is the termination condition? Till n is greater than equal to 1, the loop will continue. We will print value of n and will decrease n by 1. I hope you have understood it. After every iteration, we are decreasing the value of n by 1. This is compound arithmetic assignment operator. Let's run this code. I hope you have understood it. So we have accepted one n from user. Then our while loop will continue till n is greater than or equal to 1. After every iteration, we are printing the value of n and decreasing it by 1. So, for example, if n input is 10, 10 is greater than or equal to 1. Yes, it will display 10 and then make it 9. And again, it will come again to check the condition. Now, 9 is greater than or equal to 1. Yes, therefore, it will display 9 and make it 8. This will continue till n doesn't become 0. And as 0 is not greater than or equal to 1, the condition becomes false and the while loop will stop. Is it easy? Yes, I'm sure. And you're enjoying it. Let's run this code. 
it's asking for the value I'm entering 5 now is it displaying value one below another now if you want it on the same line we will use end attribute if you are not aware of it please watch my python programming series you will recall it very easily let's run it one more time i'm entering value 5 is it displaying on the same line yes because i have used the end parameter which is by default new line but i have stated here as equal hope you are enjoying for today we'll stop here we'll continue in the next session with more problems as always i keep telling keep learning keep evolving and please don't forget to click on bell icon please subscribe like and share with your friends